In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to recover a deleted email from Outlook 2007. The same procedure should work with 2003 or 2010, but I'll be demonstrating it specifically with Outlook 2007. Now basically, when you delete uh, an email in Outlook, it doesn't actually remove it from your email file, which is called a PST file. It basically just uh, does what's called flags it for deletion, which means that the next time you compact your PST file, it will actually remove that data from the file and shrink the size of the file. I actually have uh, that procedure detailed in another video on my site here, which I will link to below. Uh, but uh, this will only work if you haven't compacted your PST file since you deleted the file uh, that you're trying to uh, recover. Now first off, before you do anything with Outlook, you want to basically back up your PST file. I uh, will post the uh, common locations in the show notes below, in the videos notes. But uh, it's basically in a folder under your user. And it's in a folder called Outlook. And it's basically called a PST file. Now here I actually have the file that's being used currently by Outlook. And I actually already made a copy. Uh, if you want to make a backup copy of it, you just right click on it. Click copy, and then right click in an empty spot and click paste, and that will make a backup copy of your uh, email folder before you do any work with it. And you also want to keep uh, an idea of where this uh, file is for a later step. Now, the next step, you basically are gonna, what you're going to be doing is there's a uh, program called scan PST from Microsoft that will actually repair a damaged PST file and one of the side effects when you do that anything that you've deleted since your last uh, compact is actually restored to its original location after you run the scan PST now normally you probably wouldn't want that to happen especially if you've deleted hundreds of thousands of emails but if you've accidentally deleted one you want to recover it, this actually comes in handy that the uh, scan PST program, when it repairs the file, will actually restore any uh, deleted emails since, your last, since you last compacted your PST file. Uh, what we're going to be purposely doing here is essentially damaging the file with a, with a program called a hex editor, which basically allows you to go down to the very basics, the bit level, of the file and make changes to it. Now you can use whatever hex editor you'd like. The one I choose to use is called uh, FRHED Portable. Uh, this allows you to in basically install it to a folder and there's no changes to the registry or anything on your computer. It's a very compact version uh, and it works quite well. So you basically you click download now download the file, uh, basically run the installer, and it will basically put it into a, a folder of your choice. And then once you've done that, if you go into the folder that you've installed it to, you'll see the actual program. Now what you're going to basically want to do is open that up. And this is where you needed to know where that PST file was located because you're basically going to be opening that up in the hex editor. So if you go up to File Open, now here uh, it's automatically opening to my Outlook folder. Here you might have to actually go and find it again. But you're going to basically want to click on your PST file and open that up. Now before I make any changes to that, I will actually show you what my Outlook looks like. I have four files here, or four emails, and what I'm going to do is go through each one of them and delete it. I'm going to keep one. So if you look in deleted items right now, you'll see there's three. And I'm going to right click on that and empty my deleted items folder. Now normally, once you've done that, those emails will be gone. If I was to compact my uh, PST file right now, that would cause those emails to be permanently deleted. And I'll just close this and then reopen Outlook. 
to show you that those emails are gone from there, and they're also gone from the deleted items folder. Now going back to the hex editor, what you're basically going to want to do is switch out the data positions 7 through hex 13 with uh, the space character. And I will demonstrate how to do that here. So basically you want to make sure you start out at position 7. And then you're basically going to be hitting the space bar. Actually you want to be over on this side. and Click so you can actually edit it. And each time you hit the space bar it will place it with the uh, hex number 20. And you're going to be wanting to do this from 7 through 13. So that's actually 7, 8, which you just did, 9, 10. And then in hex it goes A, B, F then 10, 11, 12, and you want to make sure 13. So that's 7 through 13 we changed. And then you click on save. And again, you want to make sure that you've already made a backup file of your PST file in case anything goes wrong. But if you click save, now that's now changed that file and actually basically did an artificial damage to it. And then what you want to do next is find your scan PST program, which will be in slightly different places depending upon what version of Windows you're running and which version of Office. Uh, and this is Windows 7 and Office 2007, and it's under Program Files, Microsoft Office, Office 12, and it's called Scan PST. And I'll put links below to or describe where the uh, file is located in other versions. Uh, you basically double click on the program, and that basically opens it up, and then it's going to ask you where the location of your PST file that you want to run the program on. So I'm going to choose the one that we just changed, click open, and I'm going to click start, and depending on how big your PST file is, this could take several minutes to 20-30 minutes, depending on how large it is, and if you see here, on my file, it's just a test file, so it ran fairly quickly, and it said that errors were found. Now, if you didn't already make a backup file, you could let it make a backup file here too, just in case, and then you click repair, and basically what it does is it runs on it, big your PST file is. Uh, might take longer to complete, but once it's done, click OK. And then now it should open when you open Outlook. You'll see that the three emails I deleted have been replaced and recovered from the PST file. Now if this was your actual email program and your actual PST file, and if you had never compacted your file, you could have thousands of emails uh, recovered and not just the one that you wanted. So you probably want to do this to a the backup copy of your PST file and that way you can just then go find the file that you wanted just recover that one and then go back to your normal PST file and you'd have just your normal emails there. And this is basically uh, a free way to recover uh, an email that you deleted accidentally from uh, Outlook 2007. Now, if you want to do this procedure to a backup copy, in case you have like, thousands of emails that you've deleted over the years and you don't want them to be recovered into your main email uh, program, you can actually go in to uh, click on File, Open, and Open Outlook Data File, and then you could choose uh, another copy of your Outlook. So if you did the recovery to a backup copy, you could choose that copy, click OK, and then it'll actually open it as a separate uh, version here, and then you could go into that inbox. And so if you had thousands of emails that had recovered along with the one that you wanted, you could go through the list, just find the one or ones that you want to actually recover, copy those, Remove to folder, and 
And then you're going to want to move that to, say, a different folder in your main. So see so you're here in my main one I have saved. So I could choose saved and click OK. And then that'll actually move it to the saved folder. And then once you're done with it, just right click on the one you just opened and click close. And then that will close the one that you modified and you'll have your regular unmodified uh, email folder open here. If you like this video, uh, please give it a uh, thumbs up below. And also if you like my videos, uh, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.